All right guys, in today's video, you're gonna need two things. Actually, you're gonna need three. You're gonna need an OBD2 reader. This one is Bluetooth. You're gonna need a smartphone and you're going to need a BMW i8. We're gonna code a couple of really awesome features that are disabled from the factory that really sort of adds to the car. So why don't we jump inside and get it all done? Here we go. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna need to code your car is a Bluetooth OBD2 reader. This one I'm using is the VPAC um, OBD Check Blue. I'm gonna put a link in the description below for you to get the specific one because it needs to be at a certain speed and if you don't use the right speed, you could end up breaking your car and trust me, you really don't wanna do that. So of course, if you don't know where your OBD2 port is, you should locate it first. In most cars, it's actually in the driver's footwell under the left-hand side. Some cars, it's actually in the glove box or in the passenger footwell. So go and locate where your OBD2 reader is and you're going to stick this in. Let me open this and show you what it looks like. So this one, as I said, is the VPAC OBD uh, Blue. Comes in a nice uh, carrying case. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty small, it's pretty cool. And we're going to go ahead and insert this into our um, OBD2 port. Okay, so the next step before you start uh, programming is you need to go to either the Google Play Store or Apple Store to download the Bimmer Link app. And this is what it looks like. So once you get the app from the App Store, you're gonna go ahead and click the Bimmer Link and it'll come out. Um, and what you should notice before you do anything else is you need to use the settings and you need to set a few things uh, up. Right. So once you are connected, uh, you're gonna go ahead and connect with Bimmer code. And I said Bimmer link earlier, but I really meant Bimmer code. Um, you're gonna have this screen pop up and what you need to do is select your car. In this case, we're going to find BMW i8 2013 or later. You go connect and um, you can see it's reading the VIN, identifying a bunch of information. There's some flashing on the screen of um, the BMW i logo and it's identifying the control units, basically the ECUs. It's gonna take a little while to, for this to complete, get completed. But why, you may ask, do you wanna do this? Well, there comes really some cool features that are available that you, that are basically turned off from the factory. And if you're interested, you can see me actually code a couple of my other BMWs. The last one I did was actually the i8. I did this before and I did it in a more complicated way where this really simplifies it because I did it in an expert mode where we were literally going through the code line by line with a cable and a computer, uh, a Windows computer. Now you can really do this on your phone alone, which is really, really awesome. So it's 91% uh, completed. And so you're gonna see a bunch of ECU, some control units that are available here. And you can see they're kind of listed here on the screen. Um, so what are um, a, a few of the options? You have active sound design, you have advanced crash safety modules, air conditioning, body domain controller, camera based units, a head units, instrument cluster, power distance control, uh, roof function center, which is not gonna be applicable in the i8, and um, top rear and side view camera. So, um, we don't have uh, sound design uh, available on this, so we're just gonna pass that. There's the advanced crash safety module. So let's go into that. Now, the way this works is it's going to read the code that exists and it's gonna give you a bunch of options for you from which you can select and then we'll go from there. 
Um, to be honest, a lot of the safety features, I am not gonna change on this car. So for instance, the, the chimes for the seat belts, cause frankly, I always wear my seat belts. I want my passengers to wear their seat belts. So I'm not going to change some things like that. But there are some other cool features like the splash that comes up on the, the, um, uh, the MMI here and a few other things that I definitely wanna change, including video in motion, not that I'm going to watch video while the car driving, but it's nice if you have a passenger, you can uh, have uh, music videos or even a, vi or a movie playing while you're on long trips and so on. So it's taking a while to read this code. It's 25, 29% uh, uh, done, but I've done this before. Like I said, on the IA was far more complicated uh, the old way and more importantly, um, it, uh, this is so much easier, it's so much safer, and it actually does a backup for a number of the uh, features uh, before you actually code. I also did this on the F10 M5, and one of the cool features that you're going to see me do again on this car that I didn't, that I did uh, the old fashioned way is the TPMS. So not only can you get the actual um, uh, tire pressure the digital readout, but you can also get a readout of the tire temperature, which is actually kind of cool. So those sort of, sort of things that you do and you would get from doing a, um, a uh, coating like this. So as you can see here, we have seat belt reminder driver seat. Um, the initial seat belt reminder on start, we were gonna leave that in place. It's just one of those safety things. But let me just go into the seat belt um, a reminder for the passenger seat just to kind of show you the sort of things that you can do so you can make it active or non-active you know so again passenger sits in and you're starting to drive um, immediately you'll get a reminder that they need to to put their seat belts on frankly I want them to so I'm gonna leave that reminder on but again you have all these options here including by the way the reminder Here's the thing, if there's somebody sitting there and you don't have your seatbelt on, it will continuously chime until you put the seatbelt on. You can either say, you know, um, let it go for five seconds up to a hundred seconds and after that it disabled. Again, I'm gonna leave it on, but those are the things you can do. You can also um, code it based on distance. So, you know, 500 meters and then it will stop. So again, I think these safety features are good. I'm gonna leave them in place. The next thing maybe we want to do is maybe go into the head unit. Um, I'm just jumping around here, so we're not going to go through all of these to code, but I just want to show you what the options that are out there for you to be able to code your BMW the way you'd like it. Okay, so now it took a little while and I'm not showing you all of the times it takes to read the ECU or the control units, but now we're in. And so um, you have a bunch of options here, checkbox, uh, acoustic lock confirmation so obviously when you open and close um, the warning chime the ringtones actually let's go into that because that's actually really cool so of course the ringtones are different based on the kind of BMW so the BMW eyes have a different ringtone than say the M or the other BMWs it's very distinctive in fact you can even code the mini ringtone now I really don't want the mini ringtone and I actually like the eye eyes ringtone so when you have an incoming call it rings a certain way and it's actually different than all the other BMW so we're gonna keep it with the eye ringtone um, the volume at startup 25% that's your um, your stereo right so I, I think 25% but you can make it 10% or you can make it 50% don't make it 50% unless you're really bumping but I think 25, you know what, let's go 20%. Let's just show you what a code looks like. So I'm gonna change it to 20%. And what you do is you go back and then you have to press code, okay? So what you're gonna do is go ahead and hit code and it gives you a, a obviously a, a disclaimer. Say, you know, you could really screw your car up if you don't know what you're doing. Bottom line is we know what we're doing. So we're gonna go ahead and code, um, code the, the first one. So that's the volume at 20% rather than 25. We're gonna keep going here though, because as you can see, we have the daytime running uh, headlights with the animation that comes on when you start. Uh, we're going to actually change that. Uh, and when you adjust the volume, 
Um, in some BMWs, by default, it can pop up. In a lot of BMWs, it doesn't. So we're gonna actually code that so when you change the volume, you actually have a pop-up that shows you um, that um, in action. But I think the next thing we're going to do is TPMS, because that was one of my favorite features that I had coded previously on this car that uh, went away. So you're gonna see it in just a second. So the coding has been successful. Um, let's go ahead to the TPMS. So this, again, is my favorite. So if you look, you can see right now it displays pressure only. I actually want to see temperature. So we're going to go and press temperature and display. We're going to go back, and then you're going to hit the code button. Again, the disclaimer comes up after each of these telling you, do you really, really want to do this? And the answer is, of course we want to do this. So here we go. This is a, this is actually should be a really quick code because when I did it last time, it was pretty quick. But again, as opposed to going in and changing individual values that I did the last time um, for the i8. And again, if you just mess up one of those codes or you accidentally hit a, you know, a dash or a backslash, you could really brick your car. And so that's why something like this is actually really good. Almost finished with coding here. It's restarting the ECU. And again, each time you code, you'll see the car sort of flash and it, um, the MMI and everything will, will restart. And you're gonna see it here in a second. I really like the BMW i animation, which is pretty cool here. All right, so um, now we, we should have that done. The, there is a rear view camera zoom which is interesting. It actually zooms in your rear view camera a bit. I don't have it active. I don't think I want to, to code that, to be honest, at this point. Um, the AM radio, I don't know who ever listens to AM. It's deactivated, but if you live in a country or a part of the country in the US and you like AM radio, especially like news channels are in AM, uh, or weather channels, you can actually turn that back on. You have an option here to display your text messages in the MMI. I, I'm usually by myself a lot of times, but I don't think I necessarily want that. But if you don't mind having your text messages appear uh, on your uh, screen, you can actually code it. Next, we're going to do video in motion and video via USB. So we're gonna make that active right now. Again, same process, you check it, you go back and you go code. And there we go. It's gonna take a couple of minutes here. So while we're actually waiting for the coding to happen, again, what I try to do on this channel is uh, some tutorials like this. I do uh, car reviews occasionally, and I also do um, motivational uh, series. So go and take a look at that. There's some reaction videos in a bunch of my other cars that you can see parked uh, behind the i8. The i8 is a car that I obviously use every single day. It's finishing up the coding now, so we're almost there. And next we're going to code um, uh, video by USB. So you can stick a USB in the center console here and you'll be able to you know, uh, watch your videos from that. And in fact, it turns out that it's already active, so I don't really need to code it. Um, night vision warning, I don't think we have, I know we don't have night vision on this car. It says you can code it, but I, I don't believe you can because the cameras aren't in place. But if any of you have done it, go ahead and comment below and let me know, hey, you screwed up, you can actually code. Uh, night uh, vision warning. Uh, there are some camera warnings as well. Um, um, I don't think you can use that on the i8, but again, yeah, it's apparently giving us uh, the option here. The other thing you can do is you, the i8 has a, a camera that reads the road signs, and so you can actually change the country. You can change how they actually appear in the dashboard. Um, whether it's a white background or a red background. And there is a bunch of other uh, coding that I'm sure you can do, including uh, manipulating the ambient lighting and how long they're on. Anyway, I'm not gonna do all of that, but I just kinda wanna show you what an awesome app you have available to you here. Um, uh, and the cool thing is once you code, it actually creates a backup that allows you to then go back 
and restore whatever the previous settings are. So that's pretty cool about this tool as well. Anyway, if you guys like this video, um, leave a, a comment below for sure. I hope you would consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you turn notification on if you want to see me do more of these. I'm going to probably attempt this on the M6 because there's some features on the M6 that I'd like to turn on as well. But anyway, anyway guys, thanks again for watching. Appreciate you and we'll see you again in the next video. Peace.